everybody. I'm John. This is Self Perspective in Nashville. I'm in my hotel room. I'm between interviews right now. I've been interviewing some very interesting candidates. And during the course of my evaluation, we have talked about some of their transitions. And it got me to thinking about what happens when somebody loses their job through no fault of their own, or if they make a mistake and they get the sack. You know, in our new healthcare normal, which is to say several years ago it would be pretty abnormal, but now we're in a period of transformation and there's a lot of unrest and there's a lot of consolidation and people are losing their jobs. In history, historically, some people worked at the same healthcare organization for 7, 10, 15, 20 years. That's going to be increasingly more challenging going forward. I'm reminded of the old story about Bum Phillips, and I've used this example before, but boy, I think it's really apropos today. Phillips was on The Tonight Show. He had just been unceremoniously fired by the Oilers owner after he lost a tough, badly officiated playoff game. Carson said, how does it feel to get fired? And Bub, Bum Phillips said, well, Johnny, in the NFL, when it comes to head football coaches, it's them that's been fired and them's that's gonna be. Well, that's kind of a tough negative tone for healthcare, but you know, some of that could be more true than not. So I think as you go forward, you need to think about basically these two issues. When you get the sack, if it's no fault of your own, or even if you make a mistake and they decide to make a change, you need to take some time to grieve. And we've talked about this in the past in some of my blogs and other videos. Your length of grief may be driven by the sound of amount of your severance or the amount of your savings. But do take some time to think it through and get beyond it because you don't need to start interviewing if you're still grieving about what happened to you. But once you are, you have really two choices. You can sit back and submit resumes to job openings that you hear about or respond to recruiters or those types of things. And really when that happens, you put the power of this time frame and the scheduling in their hands. Or you can go after companies that you previously identified that you really want to work for and that you have taken the time to build networks in and around those companies that can make what we call warm introductions for you to senior leaders. And if you've done a good job with your market intelligence, then you know what their challenges are and you can make the case how your experience, your record of accomplishment, your quantifiable achievements will add value to their company. The, the issue with this approach, and I think it's one of the best, is that you can't start once you've been fired because then it's too late. So we really encourage people, even if you are fairly secure where you are, understand it's still a possibility that you could get caught in a merger or a consolidation. And so you need to have that alternative strategy to look for a position. So begin building your network now. I think it's a smart, strategic move. I hope this information has been helpful. We're here to help you. So if you have questions, email me at asktherecruiter at johngself.com. Until next time, thanks.